I'm Tess and welcome to my Thanksgiving video recipe series. Come along and I'll show you how I prep, season, and roast a turkey. Stay tuned! If you haven't already, you may want to check out my previous video recipe on how to brine a turkey. I will leave a link in the iCard above and in the show more section below. And just a reminder that you'll be able to find this recipe, the list of ingredients, and much more in the show more section below. I've also included links to where you can purchase online some of the ingredients and equipment that I use in this video recipe. If you have a chance, please check it out. I'm starting by patting the turkey dry, seasoning the inside cavity with some salt and pepper. Now I'm stuffing the turkey cavity with a mixture of onions, celery, lemons, garlic cloves, apples, and sprigs of herbs. These herbs are from my garden and are a mixture of sage, parsley, and thyme. You can use whatever herbs that you like. Just fit the veggies and herbs in there as best you can. You want the breast of the turkey to stand up. Having the turkey cavity full will help cook the bird evenly. For the rub, I'm using a stick of room temp unsalted butter and some extra virgin olive oil. And this combination will make the skin crispy and make it a nice golden brown. Adding some salt, black pepper, poultry seasoning, and some savory. You can use whatever seasonings or herbs that you like. Also giving this a squeeze of lemon. Mixing and creaming well with a fork until all combined. I gently separate the skin from the turkey by rubbing my hand between the layer of skin. Be careful not to poke or puncture the skin as best you can. And if it happens, don't worry about it. You may need to break some membranes to get the skin fully separated. And don't forget the sides and legs. Just get as much as you can. Take half of the seasoned butter and rub between the skin and the turkey. Get evenly coated as much as you can and again, don't forget the legs. Rub the other half of the seasoned butter all over the entire outside of the turkey. Get the turkey well evenly coated. This will add lots of flavor to the turkey and form a beautiful crispy golden exterior. I did sneak a couple whole sage leaves under the breast skin for decoration. I'm placing the remaining vegetables on the bottom of the roaster so the turkey will set up off the bottom. Placing the turkey on top, tucking the wings under the turkey, and binding the legs with string. Keeping the legs and wings close to the body and stuffing the cavity will help cook the turkey more evenly and thoroughly. Adding about a cup of water to the bottom, and I may need to add more as the turkey is roasting. Roasting at 350 degrees Fahrenheit until done. Internal temp of the turkey should be at 165 degrees Fahrenheit at the thickest part of the breast. My 16 and a half pound turkey took about three hours to cook. And a couple more tips. Rotate the turkey 180 degrees at halfway so it cooks evenly. If you notice the skin is getting too brown during baking, you can tempt the turkey lightly with a piece of foil. After removing from the oven, let the turkey rest for about a half an hour or up to an hour before carving. I know the waiting is the hard part. The resting time gives the juices inside the turkey time to level out and redistribute before carving. Remove the aromatics from the turkey cavity, take off the leg strings and plate for the table. Remember to save all the juices on the bottom and strain the broth so you can make some turkey gravy. Guess what the next Thanksgiving video recipe will be. If you like this roasted turkey recipe, please hit the like and subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe to make sure that you get my future video recipes. You can also find me on Facebook and on my website. Feel free to share this recipe and my channel with your friends and family. And until next time, much love.